there, it's Stephanie Fit from FitBodies.com and I want to share with you what I do when the craving for cookie dough strikes. I of course am not going to eat cookie dough, it's been a long time since I've had real cookie dough, but I have a little recipe that I came up with that almost, almost is the same thing. And of course I don't bake it, I just eat the dough because that's the best part, at least that's what I crave. So let me show you what I do. I start off with um, coconut oil and I take a little spoonful and it's a cold day so the coconut oil is kind of hard you could warm it if you wanted to I actually don't mind it chunky in my um, cookie dough so I take I don't know this is definitely a rough measurement I don't measure <laughs> so you you're gonna figure out what what portions work for you but I don't know if you can see that um, I would say that maybe that's a couple tablespoons of coconut oil and um, and then I take this is fresh ground almond butter I um, I'm trying to stay away from peanuts so almonds it is and so um, maybe a couple teaspoons of that you might want more nut butter and less coconut oil you could use another kind of nut butter doesn't matter I, I usually use slightly more nut butter than what I have Coconut, coconut oil spit it out Stephanie so there you go you can kind of see and then um, whatever kind of protein powder you use I love Shakeology it's just it's just my favorite I'm a big fan and so this isn't just protein powder it's, it's a whole food supplement but whatever brand you like you uh, it's just a little bit less than a scoop and I sprinkle that on. This is the vanilla, but you could do brownie batter with the chocolate. You could do, um, I guess you could do any flavor you want. And I just mix it up. So there's the picture, and I just mix it up. It takes a little while the pow to get the powder incorporated. Um, now you could add nuts to this. You could add chocolate chips. If you don't do chocolate, you could do um, unsweetened carob chips. I am going to use, I forgot to, get, forgot to get them down, but I'll get them out. I'm going to use organic bittersweet chocolate chips. I'm going to go for the real thing. And I just sprinkle a little bit on. So a little bit of sugar, but a lot less than if I were to do traditional cookie dough. And I mash it and I mash it. It takes a little while, but it's worth it. And mix it together. And... You know, I've tried just doing fruit when I have a sweet craving, and, and in the summertime that works a lot better. But in the wintertime, when it's cold out, I just get these cravings for comfort foods, and cookie dough just hits the spot. And so I found that this really works to help me with my cravings. And although it's not low in calories, it's good calories, healthy fats, a little bit of sweet, so let me show you what it looks like. A little finished product here. Get it looking kind of pretty for you. To me, it doesn't have to look pretty. It just has to taste good. But on video, I know you guys want to see something pretty. Um, let's see. So I don't know if you can see that. See, I have chunks of um, coconut oil that are big in there. But I don't mind that. But if you want it, you can completely incorporate it. It makes a, a cookie dough consistency. And then I just eat it with a spoon. <laughs> mm, mm. And I feel really naughty. Mm. For more tips, you can go to my website, fitbodies.com. And I've got clean, heat, clean eating tips, um, nutrition tips, fitness tips. All kinds of fun stuff, stuff I've learned since um, my cancer diagnosis, things that I'd like to help other people on their health and fitness journey. Until later, peace out, friends.